Hey everybody and welcome to episode 186 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. Ricky, are you finally recovered from the craziness that was Free Comic Book Day? Yeah, it's been pretty nice just to hang out. <laughs> Rob was on vacation last week, so I didn't get a lot of recovery time. Second. I spent a lot of time here at the store doing the things that Rob is supposed to do, which I found out is not quite anything at all. <laughs> no. Rob does a lot. Uh, yeah, so I have not had any downtime yet, but I was reminded about how awesome our Free Comic Book Day event was by uh, you know one of the artists that were here, Nick Lukic. He shot some video of the event. Whoa, and if, really? Yeah, and if you want to check out the YouTube link up here at the top or in the description, you can see like a quick three to four minute uh, awesome video about our free comic book day event. Nice. So, thanks, Nick, for doing that. Uh, Ricky, it is a busy week. A lot of uh, long delayed DC books are out this week yeah. and some awesome books from Marvel and the other companies. Let's go ahead and open up some boxes. While Ricky's unboxing all the product back there, I just want to remind you all that you have about seven days left to take advantage of two very awesome collector's packs we've put together for you over at our online store, uh, which can be found at store.stadiumcomics.com. The first is the Futures End 3D cover packs. Uh, these are coming out in September 2014 from DC Comics. Uh, they're doing 41 3D Futures End themed covers. Everybody remembers what happened with the Villains uh, Month covers last September uh, 2013. They're trying to repeat that success this time around, except this time they want to be prepared for all of the uh, demand for the 3D covers. Although I think you never can really be fully prepared for something like this. Uh, DC wants all orders in for that by the end of May, and that's why we've imposed that strict May 28th deadline for getting your orders in for collector's pack. If you are looking to pick up all uh, 41 of the covers, this is the way to do it uh, at a discounted price. So check that out. Then we also have the death and celebration of uh, Archie issues. Uh, that's Life with Archie 36 and 37, coming out with covers by multiple artists, some of the best talents working in the industry today, such as Alex Ross, Francesco Francavia, Fiona Staples, the list goes on and on. Uh, check that out as well. Orders for that are due on May 28th as well. All right, first up today we got this Doctor Who t-shirt and we've got this Loki 8-bit shirt. From the world of Hero Clicks, we've got the Thunderbolts Fast Forces set and the Days of Future Past Alpha Class Sentinel Scenario Pack. All right, moving on to the collected editions. We have Coffin Hill, Forest of the Night. This is volume one of the series from Vertigo. Manhattan Projects Volume 4, Deadpool Volume 4 in softcover, A Plus X Volume 3, Transformers More Than Meets the Eye Volume 1, Paul Dini and Joe Quinones bring us this original graphic novel from DC Comics. It's Black Canary and Zatanna in Bloodspell. Batgirl Volume 3 in softcover, and Batgirl Volume 4 new in hardcover today. All right, we've got Solar, Man of the Atom number 2 from Dynamite, Zero number 8 from Image Comics. Got a new Star Wars story focusing on Darth Maul, and this is called Darth Maul, Son of Dathomir, issue one. Ghosted, number 10. Powers Bureau, issue number 10. Unity, number seven. Warlord of Oz, number one of six. East of West, issue number 12. From Ed Brubaker and Steve Epting, we have Velvet, issue five. Exo Manowar, number 25. Lola, Exo, Exo, issue number two. One of the better selling Aspen titles in a, in a little while. Uh, has these two covers and this awesome variant. Axe Cop, American Choppers, issue number one. The Bunker, issue four. Magnus, Robot Fighter, number three from Dynamite. Transformers Windblade, number two, has these two covers. Here is the Windblade variant. Invincible, number 111. This uh, issue is being touted as a new direction for Invincible. After the events of issue 110, uh, which were very controversial. It'll be interesting to see where they take the story from here. We've also got an Invincible blank cover variant for this issue and this black and white pencils variant. Here's Adventure Time number 28, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 10, Issue 3. IDW's newest licensed property, Littlest Pet Shop, has these two covers. Seventh Sword, Issue number 2. Danger Girl Mayday, Issue number 2. My Little Pony, Friends Forever, Issue number 5. Here's the Friends Forever variant. New from Arkea, we have the last broadcast, issue number one. After taking a break, Saga is finally back. This is issue number 19. 
MPH is a new book by uh, Mark Millar and Duncan Figredo, part of the all new Millar World Universe. This is a story about a, a group of Detroit area kids who get a hold of a street, go street drug called uh, MPH or miles per hour. And when you take it, it gives them super speed. And uh, the premise of it is will they use this newfound uh, drug enhanced power for good? No, probably not. It's a Mark Millar book. Uh, anyway, this is issue one. There's a bunch of covers for this. This is the regular cover. Then we've got uh, alternate covers with each of the, the main characters from the book. We've got Roscoe, Rosa, Chevy, Baseball. Then we have this awesome variant cover by Jock. And to top it all off, this blank cover variant. Okay, moving on to Marvel, we've got a second printing of all-new Ghost Rider issue number two. All-new X-Factor issue number eight. Deadpool annual issue number two. Looks like Deadpool's going to be taking a turn as Spider-Man. Wolverine and the X-Men number four. Savage Wolverine number 19. All-new Dupe number two. Avengers World number six. Magneto number four. Miracle Man number six. Ultimate FF number two. Nova number 17. Uncanny X-Men number 21. Here's the Uncanny X-Men variant. Electra issue number two, uh, illustrated by Mike Del Mundo. And if you're not reading Electra, check out the art on the inside. Mike Del Mundo is killing it. X-Men number 14. Thor, God of War number 22. Amazing X-Men number seven. Amazing X-Men number seven has Amazing Spider-Man meeting up again with his amazing friends. Daredevil issue number three. Hulk issue three. Original Sin issue number two. This is the regular cover. Here's the Arthur Adams variant cover. Here's one of the other variant covers. And a Gabriel Delato Black Panther variant. Then we have Amazing Spider-Man issue number two. A lot of people have been waiting for the second issue. Peter Parker is back. There's a lot of things that he needs to deal with from uh, Doc Ock's time uh, in Peter's body. Uh, he's got his own company now. Uh, he's got his own employees. He's got a, uh, a girlfriend that uh, I guess Doc Ock was planning to marry, but we'll see where that's going to go now. Pick up issue two in stores today. Here is the Mary Jane variant to issue number two. And we just got this in from uh, Dynamic Forces. It's the Amazing Spider-Man number one Dynamic Forces variant. All right, moving on to DC. Now DC's announced uh, a bunch of titles reaching their final issue uh, at the end of August. That includes titles such as Birds of Prey and Superboy and Pandora and Phantom Stranger. Uh, we can only assume that these titles will be replaced by uh, other titles once the Futures End 3D month ends at the end of September. So we'll have to wait and see what DC has in store for us. Uh, but anyway, on to the books. We've got Scribblenauts Unmasked, issue number 5. Batman Beyond Universe number 10. Batman 66, issue number 11. Batwoman number 31. Red Hood and the Outlaws number 31. Birds of Prey, issue 31. Green Lantern New Guardians. Wonder Woman, issue 31. This is the regular cover. And here is the Mike Allred Batman 66 variant. Here's Supergirl, issue 31. Sinestro number 2. Batman and Frankenstein, issue number 31. The Hunt for Robin continues. Here is the Batman 66 variant. Harley Quinn issue number six. The Harley Quinn Batman 66 variant. All right, then we move on to the Forever Evil books. A lot of these were held up by the delay in Forever Evil issue number seven. Uh, Justice League of America number 14. This is the regular cover. Here is the combo pack cover and the Mad Magazine variant. Justice League issue number 30. Here's the combo pack cover and the Mad Magazine variant for that book. Here's Future's End, issue number three. Batman Eternal, number seven. Batman Superman, issue number 11, which is part three of the Doomed storyline. If you didn't read uh, Ken Lashley's Doomed, issue number one, uh, the one shot that kicked it all off last week, it was an awesome read. Very unexpected how that book uh, ended up turning out. The last few pages were quite a surprise, and uh, it all leads into uh, this this Doom storyline that we're reading now. Now, Ken Lashley is going to be at our store this Friday, May 23rd, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Make sure if you're in the area, you come by and say hi to Ken. Uh, get a get a signed copy of Doomed issue number one. Maybe grab a sketch from him. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time, and I hope you guys can make it if you are in the area. 
Here's the combo pack cover and the Batman 66 variant. And then finally we've got Forever Evil issue number 7. This one uh, people have been waiting for for some time. Here it is. This is the conclusion of the Forever Evil event. This is the combo pack cover. Then we have the Robot Chicken variant. The Ethan Van Skyver Batman variant. And the Ethan Van Skyver Dueling Luthers variant. All right, so time for prizes. Last week we were giving out a copy of Doomed number one, uh, signed by Ken Lashley. Ooh. And we asked you guys, what is a moment that you felt doom? Uh, Mr. Matt Murdock said, I sharded during intramural basketball in junior high. Oh man, that sucks so much. Especially because you're probably wearing shorts, uh, and if it was a quite a hefty one, maybe it's running down your leg. Doomed, man, you're doomed. Uh, Joel Stanley says, "I felt completely doomed when I awoke one Wednesday with no electricity, meaning no unboxing Wednesday and no Ricky to brighten my day." You know, Joe Stanley, you're right. That is a terrible situation, and I'm glad that you have power this week, hopefully. And I'm glad that I can be here to brighten up your day. That's, that's that smile. That's me trying to brighten up your day. No? Is it working? <sighs> Sorry, Joel Stanley. Uh, Regina Opoko said, My name is Ernest. And I am 11, turning 12, and the moment I felt doomed was in grade 5 when we had a long division test. I was horrible at long division and still am, but that moment brought doom to me. I'm a new comic book reader and I love your show. Stay awesome, bros. Dude, long division is so difficult. I'm like 26. I don't even know how to, I don't even know what long division is. Is that like with that thing? And then you do like the number, then the remainders and stuff. Whew. You know what, Ernest, you're probably smarter than me when it comes to long division. So don't fret, man, don't fret. But the winner goes to George Trujillo, Trujillo, who said, the day I fell doomed was on October 31st, 1986. It was Halloween, I was 11, wore my plastic Hulk costume to school. I was the only one who wore a costume. I spent the entire day in a plastic Hulk suit. When I got home, I hulked out and ripped the costume off, tearing it apart. That's so sad, man. That's like that's the that's like the thing nightmares are made out of, where you go to school and you're completely naked. But in this case, your nakedness is your Hulkness. Oh, sorry, dude. Hopefully, this signed copy of Doomed Number One will ease your childhood pain. Hopefully, man. Hopefully. To be fair, uh, Hulk costumes are pretty sweet, so you probably look the coolest and everyone was jealous. This week, what we're giving out is a copy of Forever Evil number 7. Hopefully you've been following Forever Evil, and uh, this isn't going to be a crazy spoiler for you when you get it. Because, you know, there's some pretty big spoilers going on inside this book. So Forever Evil was crazy delayed. I bet any money that they were trying to think of a way to end the book. They start writing it and they're like, oh man, we haven't thought of an ending. So, if you had a chance, how would you end Forever Evil? Keep it in mind that it's full of villains. Personally, I would have all the villains turn good. Imagine Black Adam as a good guy. Shazam would be so confused. He'd be like, who am I? What am I doing? So let us know how you would end Forever Evil number seven, and the best answer would win a copy of Forever Evil number seven. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember to check out all the other awesome shows on our channel. And by all the other awesome shows, I mean the one other show on our channel, Previous Reviews. Uh, that, uh, we just uploaded a new episode uh, a few days ago, so make sure you check that out. We're filming some more this week. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun for all. I'm excited. We've got Louie doing his recap podcast uh, every week. Make sure you listen into that. Get caught up on all the storylines going on in the uh, pages of your favorite comic books. You can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. And we will see you all next time for episode 187. That's going to be a murderous episode. I know. 187 of Unboxing Wednesdays. 
taking place next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Take care everybody and enjoy your comics this week.